Now, here's your host, Pete McTee. Everybody! Well, hi, good morning. Hi, welcome to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. I'm Pete McTee, and this is my clubhouse. And in the studio audience today, we have a bunch of daisies. Yeah, we have Daisy Troop 730 from York, Daisy Troop 452 from Hellam, and Daisy Troop 1413 from Spring Garden. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Yay, me! Yay! And let's, let's clap real loud for Captain Cool, okay? Come on out, Captain! All right, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Captain Cool. You're looking uh, awfully cool today. Hey, so are you, dude. Thanks. You like my hair? I like your hair. Well, it's not as cool as yours, though. You hey. have cool hair. Looks like you just got a new perm. Yeah, I did. It's mm -hmm. real nice. Looks yeah. good. What's the cool word today, Captain Cool? The cool word today, Pete, is wild thing. Wild thing. What mm -hmm. do you mean, wild thing? Well, wild animals are one of my favorite things. Yeah, I like to look at wild animals. They're interesting. And one of my favorite things to do is to feed wild animals, especially if you live in a wooded area. Well, how do you do that without getting hurt? Well, like we can give wild birds bird seed, for example. Well, that's a good idea. And there's special little hummingbird feeders that you can feed hummingbirds. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty birds. And if you have some leftover apples, you can put those out in the woods, and deer really like to eat yeah, apples. Yeah, that's true, too. And squirrels like to eat special nuts, like peanuts or walnuts. Mm -hmm. That's right, squirrels are wild and, animals, too. And corn. Corn? They like corn? Do you like donuts? I don't know. I never saw a squirrel eating a donut, Pete. Do, do, the, do the deer like pizza? I don't think so, buddy. All right. Well, we'll see you later, I'll Captain. I'll be back. Oh, okay. We'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. We have a, a great group of daisies here in the clubhouse today, and they're having a good time. And Professor Noodles, well, there they are, smiley faces. <laughs> Professor Noodles will be stopping by a little later, so you won't want to miss that. Right now, let's wake up my dog, Wembley. Let's see if Wembley's awake. Hi, Wembley. Good morning. Oh, you're wide awake today. Here, Wem Wembley, would you like a biscuit? He's over talking to the daisies. Here, Wembley. Here, boy. <whistles> Wembley. Do I have to go over there to give you your breakfast? Come over here. Okay. Now sit down, Wembley. Hey. I think he has to shake around a little bit in the morning. Do you shake around in the morning? No? Okay. Speak. Yeah, let's hear it for Wembley. Yay! Ah, oh, he's a good boy. Hi, Scooter. Hi, P Hi, Pete. This is my computer, Scooter. He's the smartest computer in the whole wide world. Boy, that Wembley was acting up today, wasn't he? He just, come on in. He just didn't want to eat his biscuit. <laughs> Professor, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hi, Sammy Joe. How are you? Well, you're on one of those skateboard things. Yes, Pete. Look, I didn't think Wembley's going to get on. Well, no, he's not. into the clubhouse full force because this is an outside activity, you know. Yeah, skateboarding. You should always wear a helmet too. Right. I was going to say safety first. You should always wear a helmet and even some knee pads or elbow pads yeah. too in case you fall off. And never, 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 never have Professor Noodles with you. <laughs> right. I Professor, just what do you want? You keep hitting me on the shoulder. I, you, I just uh, wanted to tell you, I'm living proof as to what happens if you skateboard without a helmet on. That's true. <laughs> yes, I am. You turn and, uh, out to be a goofy professor. <laughs> that's right. He Where might am have I? Fallen huh? off. You're in the clubhouse. I'm in the clubhouse. Yes. Okay, no problem. This is how to skateboard thing. There. So, Sammy Joe, are we going to skateboard today? What are we going to do? Well, Pete, we can't do too much in the clubhouse, but outside it's great exercise. Yes. It's great for your legs. It works all your muscles, and then you have to right. balance with your arms, so it's a really good activity. Oh. But Right. Yes, what? Professor. Yes, Professor. Make, yes. A, make a suggestion here, please. Yes. You know, for kids that, that want to learn how to skateboard and things like that, yes. they make a skateboard that has a, like a pull up through the center of it and two handles. So you, it's kind of like a skate and scooter type thing. It's a scooter skate? Skate and scooter type thing. And you can scoot oh, on that, and that I, way you can yeah. skate. Yeah. And it's That's exercise. Pete can go whizzing by. Well, you know, to be a skateboarder, you should practice, practice and not definitely. go down hills or dangerous things like no, that. You should, you should ask mom and dad's permission before you just 
go off and skateboard too. Oh, that's for sure, Pete, because yeah. it is dangerous. It can it be is very good dangerous. Exercise. Let me see this thing here once. Here, you think I? you think my big foot would fit on there, Professor? I don't know, Pete. We'd have to put like outriggers and adapters on there. Yeah, can well, I try it? Okay, go ahead there, Pete. Okay. Now be careful now, Pete. Wow. wow. Okay, should I go somewhere? Uh, Pete, oh, I think Pete, if you keep going around, you are going to go somewhere. Let's, <laughs> careful, let's, oh, Pete. I don't have a helmet on. That's Nor right. do you have your clown insurance paid up. <laughs> That's true. No. Yeah. But anyway, we're looking at things. What do we got here? We got wheels that are on ball bearings. Yes. And we have Is this a, science? And we have a, of course, Pete. It's a suspension thing. Sammy there you go, Joe. Captain. How many times do we tell Professor that when you're here in the clubhouse, we don't talk about science, we talk about exercise, you goofball. We try to tell him every single time, but he just now doesn't just listen. Now just put it down. We're going to listen to Sammy Joe. What else do you have here, Sammy Joe? Well, I just brought my jump rope because I ran across Professor, and I professor, thought I'd better go at a very slow speed with him around because it could get dangerous. So Yeah, jumping he, uh, rope is lots of fun. Oh, yeah, Pete. This is great. I was actually in the park, took my jump rope with me, got off my skateboard area after I did a little oh, exercise. Oh. Can you jump rope while you're skateboarding? I don't I know don't think, about that one. I don't one. think that's a good idea. Do you think so, kids? No, no see, they're I smart. I don't think wait, so. Wait a minute, I think you prompted them to say that. I, I no, think I just did. asked them a question. Okay, kids, do you think it's a good idea to jump rope while you're skateboarding? No! <laughs> yeah, Professor, that's pretty clear, Professor. did you hear Professor? that loud and clear? It is not a good idea to be jump roping yeah. while you're You know what's fun, Sammy Joe, is what? when, you, when you jump rope, uh, you, you get one of those real long ones, right? And you get two of your friends, and then oh, yeah. and you stand in the middle like that. Sure, and, and double maybe, dutch. That's what that's, yeah, double, double dutch. dutch. You ever play that? I've had double dutch. Remember that cake that they made from it? We're not dutch talking dutch. about uh, cake. Top and a double Boy, dutch ice. that sounds awfully good. Though. See, I can sway you, Pete. You know, Are you I, thinking of donuts Okay, now? donuts. No, I'm thinking okay. of chocolate cake. Okay, right. Sammy Joe, but you know what okay. I like about jump roaming is because they have these neat little sayings when you're jumping rope, you know? Right, and you can do little footwork, too. Like, you can do little crisscrosses when you go Wait, running. do that again. Okay, that's hey, really that easy to do cool. now, but when you got the rope to worry about, that's when it gets a little bit tricky. Well, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to bring my long jump rope for okay. the next show, and we're going to do some double dutch jump roping. Okay, and, with and some crisscrosses and some Yes, Sammy, tricks. Joe, and I will hold the jump rope, <laughs> and you can jump in the middle. That's good exercise. I think it's I'm going to work on exercise. the skateboarding, Pete. I really am. Okay. Whoa, Professor! Wow, that was pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. Be careful now. I'll so be careful. we just want to remind the, remind the boys and girls to always wear a helmet when always you wear a helmet. you know skateboard. This is what could happen. And be careful when you jump rope, right, That's Sammy? Right. That's okay. right. Okay. Well, thanks for those cool tips and uh, and it's all exercise, Professor. We'll no be back science, with more fun. Later. Don't See go later. away. Okay, hey, let's try this uh, thing here. Don't let your feet move from your seat because Pete McTee's Clubhouse will be back in a heartbeat. Well, welcome back, boys and girls, to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Captain Cool over there with his cool cam was getting some real cool pictures of all the daisies in our clubhouse today. They're having a real good time. And uh, later, there they are. Look, thumbs up from Captain Cool. Wave to Captain Cool. Yay. Come on in. Hey, somebody's at the door. Come on in, Dale. Hi, Professor. Look what I got here, Pete. Oh, it's our friend Dale Snyder from Zoo America. Hi, Dale. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I was going to shake your hand, but you have a snake in your hand. I sure do. This is Orville, our red rat snake. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We, jungle we got to wait till the jungle. Oh. Will you guys keep it down out there? Oh, I hear jungle noises. Shh. You'll, you'll, scare, <laughs> the, you'll <laughs> scare the guests. Oh. oh, I like that. Now, what kind of snake is this, Dale? Orville is a red rat snake. He's a snake you'd find in the southeastern part of our can country. I, can I touch Orville? Sure can. Hi, Orville. You oh. didn't get wet, did you? No, he's not now, wet. Most people think snakes are wet and slimy, but Hi, they're Orville. really dry and smooth. They're dry Pretty and smooth. Pretty neat characters. And you know what? When you look at him, you can see it's almost iridescent. His, What's that his mean, band. Professor? Well, it kind of reflects the light. It, it, you kind of see like blues and different colors. Oh, because that's a big his, word. Here off his uh, brown parts. When the light hits it, he looks kind of... Professor, yeah. how do you spell that? Uh, T H A. Oh, irredipidipidus. Is it irresponsible, Pete? Yes. So now this is a red. This is a red rat snake. 
That's yeah. correct. And where do these snakes live, Dell? You'd find them in the southeastern part of the United States, in Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, down in that area. Just like out in the woods or places yeah, like that? They'd like to live out in the woods or close to the swamps. They do fine in all those areas. Do kinds they get mean? Do they bite? A red rat snakes are probably one of the calmest kind of snakes that we have around. Uh -huh. He has teeth, so he has the ability to bite, but he usually doesn't use that unless he's frightened or trying to protect himself. Well, what, what does Orville eat? Orville eats one mouse a week. One well, mouse a week? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mice are like one this big. Mice are like this big, and Orville is like this big. Now, how does something this big take care of something this big? He Do can you know, Pete? I don't know. I know. Oh, well, let Dale tell us. That's what I'm waiting I was going to okay. quiz Dale. Go ahead, Dale. <laughs> he can handle that quite easily. All he does is unhinge his jaw, this part of us, it just sort of comes loose, just opens and up. the rest of him spreads apart. Excuse me, did yeah. you ever see Pete McTee eat a dozen donuts at one time? <laughs> Does he become it's unhinged? The, it's the same uh, thing. He uh, can do the, uh, the same uh, thing there. Yeah, the jaw gets freaked. Yeah. So yeah. now he dislocates. He opens up his he unhinges jaw. Unhinges it. It opens wide. The rest of his body spreads apart like he's a big rubber band. Oh. Wow. And as soon as he swallows, he starts. Pushing and crushing does the prey that he likes to what, eat. Mm -hmm. do, what does he eat at night when he watches TV? Does he eat popcorn or anything? You know what? When he's there at night, it's hard to tell when he's sleeping. <gasps> he doesn't have know. any eyelids. So he looks you, the you same all day and all night. Or not. Sleeps like this. Ooh, well, you know, I did that through college, you know, yeah. through clown college and, and over the IQU. <laughs> I slept through <laughs> physics class like that. Professor, I you shouldn't do that. I didn't mean that, but I, I was only kidding. Uh, sorry, hey, Professor. Professor, yeah. why do you have a snake? Well, Pete, I kind of brought this out. This is a uh, like a mumbo, an African mumbo. And as you can see, it's but quite, it's not, it's quite, it's quite snake. tame. And it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's rather, not a real it's rather snake. docile, but it, it uh, sometimes it moves with uh, sort of a uh, pendulous motions and rubbery effects. Rubbery that's, effects. That's known to the that's snake because, because it's made out of rubber, It's a right built-in natural defense for this, so. it's not for a this real snake. One. Now, Pete, why wouldn't it be real? I mean, it could very easily be a real snake. Because it wasn't but, moving, it wasn't slithering. Oh. That's so, a big word for snake so I, movement. So I couldn't fool you, huh? No. I couldn't fool you. Well, I so really this, didn't try. does Orville have a brother named Wilbur? He might. He might. Is that the okay. right name? <laughs> <laughs> He well, actually wait. came to us. He's in real the smooth. Well, now you know something. Now his snake or his snake tongue is coming out and going yeah. blah, 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 real fast. Can blah, you get a picture like of that, that, Captain? Real close there. Yeah. And what is he doing yeah, when his tongue Captain comes out Cole like that? Yeah, what's he when doing he with his tongue? When he sticks his tongue out like that, he's looking for mice. <gasps> and when he sticks that tongue out, he can smell where a mouse has been running. Oh, we don't have any mice in the clubhouse. Well, I don't know, I don't Pete. Think. He's checking. He's Maybe looking. he smells Wembley, my dog. He might. He might. Yeah. Wow. That's... He certainly doesn't hear Wembley. Wembley's does afraid he? of snakes because, yeah, he doesn't have ears. No ears why, in a snake. Why don't snakes have ears? I guess that's how they were made. They just yeah. don't have need for hearing. They don't have need. When you've got a sense of smell like that, you don't need to hear. Yeah. Pete, there's some other things out in the porch, and I, I got. I also got Orville's oh. house here. Oh, did here. you bring another yes, animal for us, Dale? Sure did. Okay. Well, I'll hold your snake here, Professor. See, this is this is just a what we call a fake snake. It's kind of rubbery. Like it's just go. But it's it's not real. See, I could like hold it like this. And okay, right this way. Like you didn't this. forget your way back in, did you, Dale? Okay. Well, I'm, yeah, hey, okay. I hear birds too. Do you hear birds? Wow. Right out. They must be coming from outside. Yeah, they hear birds. Well, let me put this snake down here. And uh, Dale Snyder's our guest today, and he's from Zoo right. America, and Dale. that's right next to Hershey Park in Hershey. Okay, Dale, what do you have for us out there? Dale's on the back porch. He's going to bring something in here. Wow. What, what's out there, Professor? Well, Pete. Is it a surprise? It's a surprise. Let me tell you, it's got feathers. It has feathers. It's a chicken. It's not a chicken, Pete. Oh, that's not a chicken. It's a bird. It's a, it's. Well, be, come on over here, Dale. It's what, what the, what? It's, it's a kestrel. What's a kestrel, Dale? A kestrel is one of the smallest hawks that we have living here in our country. And if oh. you're real good at watching birds, you can go out and look along the telephone lines because they like to sit up there on the telephone lines. Do they eavesdrop? Not usually. Oh, okay. They're eavesdropping on something else. Ah. They're eavesdropping on mice. So oh. I brought another mouse eater so, along with me and today. And what's his name? This is Bud the Kestrel. Hi, Bud. Hey, Bud. How's hey, it going? Hey, Bud. 
Wow, look at the spots under his Why is he looking at me like that, Dale? Petey well, hasn't had lunch yet. I don't look like a mouse, do I? Well, no. he also likes insects. Does that get oh, any closer? Maybe he thinks my big red nose is a, a mouse. Or an apple or something. He likes fruit. I don't know. Look at him. Now he's so this is a kestrel. Where do kestrels live? Kestrels live pretty well all over the country. When you get out in the country, they like to live along the fence rows because they like to sit up there and watch for insects and mice, oh. which are their favorite kinds of food. And they're part of the falcon family? They're part of the falcon family, so they're pretty fast flyers. Are there many of them in Atlanta? Probably quite a enough, few. They pretty well take team, over Pete. everywhere. There's Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, enough to make a team, Pete. Mm -hmm. You know something, Dale? I kind of thought I saw his head, like, twist the whole way around almost. He doesn't twist quite as far as an owl does because his eyes are to the side, but he's always watching. Wow. If there's any kind of movement he's anywhere, at, he's yeah. checking it out. He's looking at Captain Cool's camera. He's yeah. checking everything, any kind of movement, because that's how he protects himself. Yeah. He has to be alert all the time to see if Captain there's danger cool around. Hi or even to see if he can find some food. So he's busy all the does, time. Does he eat pizza? Not usually. Not no. Well, has so he ever Bud tried likes, pizza? I guess if you put a mouse on it, he might go wow. after it. Can you get mouse on your pizza, Pete? I don't know. Well, that'd be a special so, order somewhere. So Bud, can at the zoo. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so Bud pizza. likes mm -hmm. to eat mice and insects, huh? Mm -hmm. And Orville likes to eat mice. Yeah. Wow, Pete, do you think maybe we could like get them to be in the clubhouse all the time that way if we do have know. mice or anything, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be just I, I like Orville wonderful. and Bud. They're they're pretty good, pretty good now, animals. Now, how did you come to get uh, Bud here? Bud here came to us from a rehabilitation center. Oh. If you can see his one wing, this one closest to me, sort of droops down a little. Oh, he a was injured these, or something. A lot of these small birds fly into electric wires or they fly into cars or windows. And when a bird's bones break apart, his bones are hollow. Oh, so if he busts so into something, those bones pretty well shatter, and it's hard to fly. repair them. So he really can't fly very well at well, all Well, we want to thank Dale yeah, Snyder from I Zoo like America him. for uh, stop. Oh, I hear those sounds again for stopping by the clubhouse <laughs> and uh, and allowing us to meet Bud and Orville. Hey, all kids, right. let's hear it for Dale and Bud and Orville. Yay! 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 Yes, and we'll be back. We'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. <laughs> hey, Professor, what are you mixing? A new formula for instant commercials. A formula for what? Commercials, Pete, commercials. Watch this. Uh-oh. Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Step inside and join the fun. Today, my book of the week is called The New Creatures. Herman the Sheepdog is ready for his walk. The children don't want to take him because they are already busy. Plus, it's sleeting outside, but Grandfather makes them go. Herman is soaked when he gets home. The boy and girl must brush and dry him. Ishtar the cat must also be fed. Sometimes I wish they'd take care of themselves, like when they lived in the wild, said the girl. Just then, Grandfather starts telling them a story that was told to him by Herman the Sheepdog. A long time ago, dogs and cats walked on their hind legs and dressed in fancy clothes. Their only faults were greediness and laziness. They wanted other animals to do their work. Horses pulled wagons, cows licked dishes, sheeps tried to spin and weave their own wool, and foxes were too smart to work. So the dogs and cats fought over who would do what. After a while, the streets and houses became messy. During the period called the Age of the Terrible Mess, a dog named Herman decided to go off into the wild to see what the rest of the world was like. It was on his adventure that he discovers a new creature. Can you guess what the new creature is like? To find out, check out the new creatures at your favorite library. Yes, this is a real fun book to read, The New Creatures. It had lots of different animals uh, in the story. And today we learned about a uh, falcon and a snake. And uh, learning about animals is lots of fun. And... Ah! 
Professor, I thought that was you. I saw bushy hair. Well, I thought it was Bud the Bird at first. No, Pete, no, Pete. I was out talking to Bud the Bird. You know yeah. what he told me? What? <gasps> he said, he's out looking for mice. He's looking for mice, Pete, and he was, or a big rat. Yeah. Are there like mice restaurants for uh, birds and probably, snakes? Probably, probably. You know, they could, you know, hang out on the on the wire and go, oh, what are we doing tonight? Well, let's, let's, uh, Look for some mice. Yeah, look for mice, and then down they go and pick up the mice and well, go. Well, we want to thank Dale Snyder from pick up, Zoo pick, America oh. because he always, you know, brings cool animals here to the clubhouse. You know, I and, think the best place to find animals like that is at the zoo. Yeah. You know, well, you know, you know, the my favorite animal at Zoo America is the prairie dogs. Oh, I like those too. Yeah, they dig like little holes in the ground, and they have houses underground. Right, burrows, Pete. We call them burrows. Oh. Do you think they have TV sets and things? I saw little dishes on some of them. I yeah, don't know. You're okay. gonna have to stop by and, and check well, it out later. We had fun today learning about what is that name of Bud again? What that kind of a, falcon? A kestrel. A kestrel. And what kind of snake is Orville? Uh, he is a red rat snake, Pete, found oh, yeah. in the south uh, southwest, southwest yeah, of, mm -hmm. of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, or okay. Southern parts, yes. Well, we had a good time he's today. Red, and we he's went... tan, and he's across the thing. Yeah, right. And the bird has Professor. flappy things, and I'm across her. And, and you know something? He turns his head back and forth. He never looks his eyes at me. Okay, Professor. We'll see you next That's week, everybody, on Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Bye. Goodbye, Pete. Goodbye, kids.